what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create another version of this and then let's just kind of see what this might look like if it was laid out a little bit okay. differently. Um, you know, because we're not writing any code, so it's easy to uh, to kind of start yeah. fresh. Um, I'm going to put a couple of, like, make this kind of a tabbed section um, where all of a sudden the these, or you kind of have a separate page for each of these. Um, yeah. And now somebody comes to this page and they're saying, oh, wow, I see what these people, you know, these guys are offering. And, yeah. it, you know, in a way it's it's a more more professional or something, you know, like, uh, yeah, anyway. So, um, but you could still use this idea of, of the cards. You could even still, you could even have the, still have the search. Um, and you could have a little, uh, a little, uh, kind of a little blurb about some of the content, um, and it just feels a little bit, um, you know, more. It feels more curated. Yeah, um, I think I think that makes sense. Mm -hmm. As long as it's easy to navigate between the different things, I think. Which uh, the way you have it laid. I might have lost you, but I think you're back now. Yeah, yeah, I, was saying, I, I think that looks good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, okay, so you can, uh, you know, I'm thinking about having, being able to reuse things so you're not just cr doing a whole lot of custom work. So you can kind of reuse this card layout, maybe the, you know, the search. Um, and then I think having the having the tabs might be a good way to to make it easy to easy to navigate and you get a, you get a little bit of room horizontally to use a couple of words you know two words one or two words to describe these which could be useful um, yeah and then what you might want then is a page that's one level up from this which is maybe the first page that they get to when they log in maybe and you almost have yeah. like a card for each of these sections. Okay. What? Me? I'm not. I'm not, a, I'm not getting that as much. What? what sorry, sorry. What does that mean? Kind of. Okay. You're, um. So, uh, I'm just thinking about. You know, this is a good. This is a good kind of layout framework. Once you're, once you know where you want to be. Um, yeah. But. I wonder if it might be a little bit confusing for somebody who, if they log in and this is the first page they see, maybe they want a yeah. little bit more context. Like, what is the site? What can I do here? Like, what, um, you know, a little bit more instruction, a little bit more guidance, maybe make it a little bit more friendly. Yeah. Um, so maybe have a, a page that is kind of your, the first page you see when you log in that then links them to either, to one of these tabs. And it's kind of like oh, now yeah. that I now that I know what I'm doing, I want something that's really just kind of focused on getting me what I'm looking for. Right. Yeah. So that in the original thing I had was co we we're calling it like lounges because mm -hmm. you know, like their homepage. Right. You log in and you see. Okay, I can go to curated content or collective giving, or I might have some communication thing. Um, which we haven't figured out what that would be yet, but some sort of way to like communicate communicate with people and or see upcoming events. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, mm -hmm. That's one layer before this even, um, which is like your kind of menu of now that I'm in my now that you're in the gated part of the website, what are the things you can see? Right, right. Um, okay. So, what would you 
uh, what would you like to work on next? Would you like to try to do that page, or would you want to yeah, flesh yeah. it? Can we do that? Can we do that page? Because I think visually, I'm struggling with what that should look like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Um, Copy this over, start with that, and then um, I wonder, let's leave this out for now. So, okay, so this, this we're calling, this is the, the lounge, right? Yeah, right. Okay. And in there they can, they, they, we want them to have access to, it's basically, for most people, four main things, which are events, the curated content, which we were just doing, the a collective giving, which is called giving circles, and then communication, um, like some sort of, we got to figure out what that's going to be, messaging or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so let me let me throw something together real quick and tell me what you think about it because okay. as, as soon as you started describing that, I, I got something, I got something in my head, and this is going to be. A little bit more like a like a website uh, because uh, and it'll, and um, it's just gonna have a slightly different um, kind of feel but not maybe not all that different um, uh, And let's see, this is that uh, curated content. And so these are a little bit more, what you could do with this. So, so I, I like the idea of continuing to use a photo as kind of a way to visually associate it with something. Um, yeah. Give it maybe a little bit more make it a little bit bigger. So this, so this is how it would be different from a card, is that it would be a little bit uh, bigger, you could have a little bit more information in it, and also a little bit more kind of space between them to really, sit, because you, you're gonna have fewer, uh, you're not gonna have like dozens of these, um, you're just gonna yeah. have a few big main categories. So it's just kind of like a grid of like, here are the main places you could go. And then one of the things that you can do is that instead of just having a sentence here kind of summarizing it you can actually have some uh, how might we do this like um, oh you could even do this maybe and so you could even have a, a link to some navigation in here so that w they have the option um, you just go right if they know where to go they can go right to it yes so it's um, one, click, one click away instead of two clicks away <laughs> Yeah, and you can have some, yeah, some little icons or something like that. You could kind of, uh, you know, mix and match or something like that. And so, you know, you were saying before that, uh, just a minute ago, like you're having a hard time picturing what this might look like. And I, I like the idea of having a layout that's kind of versatile. So, yeah. you know, you can have kind of these eye-catching things, but it, it can also be kind of effective and efficient if you're, if you're like, oh, I know I want to go to the interviews. And I don't have to click on this and then drill on, click again, but it's like, it's right, yeah. boom, right there. Yeah, I like that. I mean, for events, it could be, you know, upcoming events or my events or something like that. Yeah, and each of these kind of sections below could could be a little bit different based on, um, you know, you could even put in a, you know, a little mini calendar or something like that. Um, yeah. And so depending on the type of, um, in front, you know, the category, you can you do it a little bit differently. Um, you said these were uh, collective giving was the next one? Yeah, or giving circles or something like okay. that. Yeah. And then the last one was communication? Yeah.
And then you might probably, yeah, let's just say this is going to be in the middle here. And then you can have a little bit, uh, you know, kind of a welcome to the site, or here's some things you can do here. Uh, put their name in it, make it, um, it can be a little bit more kind of friendly or personable or it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too overwhelming. Yeah. Um, right. Cause people are mostly coming in here to get to where they want to go. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah. have somebody who's kind of new, then you, yeah. you maybe want to give them a little information about, and, and also it's, it's a little bit of marketing too. Like look at all the cool things you can do here and not just like, here's what we have. Yeah. Um, I like that. Okay. All right. Let's make these into links so it's kind of a reminder. Um, that you can go right there. Yeah. 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 Cool. I like that a lot. Okay. All right. Uh, Do we have time? Can we try one more? Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is the one I'm the least clear on, which is the communication. Okay. Um, so I can tell you what I what we want to do. I don't know how the best way to do this. I don't want it to be like a discussion board because those are like, so basically we want people to have the ability to like uh, communicate with groups of people, um, communicate directly with people. The way I really envision it, it ideally working would be something like a Slack channel. Mm, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I you know, I've Just, I think the way that that's displayed, Slack is. I don't know if you use Slack. Is very yeah. We we do, and and I it, that popped into my head uh, just to, as you said it. <laughs> so I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. But I don't know, like, what the best way to build, like, to build something where people can kind of communicate and create groups for communication. Um, and I think we don't want to. We're a really small team. We don't have time to like police message board so we don't really want you know mm. like a section. we definitely don't want that because um, those things can just devolve really quickly I right think. right i mean my guess is that this well it, it depends on who you're working with but there's a the person building this might end up using some third-party tool or something then you might just have to yeah. kind of plug it in there but um that shouldn't stop us from designing it the way that we want it to look um i mean what if we did uh do something kind of like um kind of like slack i wonder if we could have some different yeah like it has you know different channels and you have your direct messages and i think that's kind of cool mm -hmm. I don't know how those names kind of popped into my head, but um, uh, so yeah, that's maybe like a kind of a two-column layout where let's, uh, let's just have a little intro here for what this might look like, or a little telling people kind of how it works and how to behave. And then maybe you'll have yeah yeah I mean is this kind of a kind of a thread like a Slack or are there be these separate kind of messages that you want maybe want to drill into? Um, I think if, I think the thread is the best way to display it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you feel differently or through your experience, but to me it's just the most intuitive. Like a post doesn't make sense. Right. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I agree. I think that would be kind of, that would be kind of cool. Um, so I don't know, we can even design it with 
kind of a three column thing in mind where you can have you can have a thread over here or you could have some other options for your own profile or something like that um, okay so I'm got a message going here Come my own right here. And I don't know, maybe we do this just to represent that it can be yep. kind of threaded or something like that. Um, Yeah, I guess you'd have the the date or or whatever, how however it's separated. But so you're saying something like that would be would be cool. You don't know if it's possible, but yeah. it would yeah. be nice. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if there's technology out there that somebody a developer a good developer could kind of place into whatever system they're using that basically kind of replicates that that slack yep. experience uh, where you can have different different rooms different um, yeah. you know kind of different conversations and then kind of one-on-one -on -one, um, uh, direct messages too um, it's just a little bit more maybe open-ended on the technology side about how that would be that would be built, but at least you would kind of ha you'd have an idea from the user interface and the user experience perspective of what what you would what you'd want that to look like. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I want to think really quick about about the navigation of getting back. So, okay. Yeah. Because right now we're in the we're in the app part but we uh and we kind of have these ways of getting two things but we don't know how to get back so get back. Yeah. um you know we could do a simple breadcrumb we could have um since there's only four categories uh, we could even have another navigation on this page kind of a second level navigation that would allow you to Kind of go directly, so yeah. you could go from. So you wouldn't have to go. I think I like that idea. Like, so I could be in curated content. Like, okay, I've seen the new post. Now I want to go to my events. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Let's, let's see what that might look like. Um, I can make this a little bit smaller, and then yeah, we could have. You know, we could have it over here, and then we could put it here. Let me just quickly grab what these are. Events. Okay. Events. Uh, giving. Yeah. And then, oh, community. Communication. Communication. Oh, yeah. Communication. Yeah, we might want this to look a little bit different, but but I kind of like this left and right layout. So kind of the place that you are is kind of in big letters on the left, and then how to get around um, the other place you can go is on the right. Even if even if yeah. we okay. repeat this a little bit, it's a little little bit more compact maybe than having it uh, you know kind of on, on the top and then moving everything down. But you could do that. Uh, as well too. I, I like the side by side actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, I think that makes sense. And then you don't have to go all the way back to the whatever lounge. You mm-hmm. can just kind of toggle between the different places you want to go. Yeah. So it's. So, yeah, if you don't need it so much on the. the lo- oh, I guess oh, maybe we'd want to have the. We want to have the lounge in here because then otherwise you can't really get back. Oh, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, how does that feel? I think that, that feels I think it looks good and, you know, to your point, there's not a million different things you can go to. So it looks clean up there with just the five things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Cool. That looks great. So is there a way for me to get access to this stuff? Um, Yes, I will. So this is all uh, in the cloud. So I'll share this, this project with you um, right after this call. Um, so you can uh, view it, and you can also uh, edit it. Cool. Um, yes. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I, I was just kind of thinking about it one more time. Yeah. I think that's a good. That's a good stopping point. I don't want to start something uh, new at this point. Um, so. Um, so yeah. So let's let's stop there, and. Uh, uh, yeah. And um, yeah. Do you have any other questions? Anything else you want to talk about? I think, and it was good to see how you laid it out and um, definitely a great start for us to kind of take. And as we th- think through this project, I, I, I like, I mean, I really like the way it all looks now. Now's the hard part of getting it into actual, <laughs> making sure it's all linked together and thinking through it and all that stuff. But I think it looks great. Right. Right. Yeah. But at least you kind of have a, something to look, look at and uh and talk about yeah that's that's a useful yeah. thing um this is great good, uh, good. Uh, yeah i really like it's cool good yeah i'm pleased with that with our progress in uh in less than an hour so um all right well really good to talk to you and i'll, I'll share this with you right after uh, right after this and um yeah. awesome. thank you so much i appreciate it i'm looking, looking forward to it and uh thanks again for all your help great great you're welcome All right. Okay. Take care now. Yep. All right. Yep. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.